You guys, oh, you got a disco ball. I don't know if that blocks it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Oh my god, alright. <laughs> his recording is on that, so now you guys, if you want to see his reaction, you have to go and watch his video on YouTube. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Sorry Sam Beer Reviews, and I'm here in the, oh, I forgot what this hotel's called, The Point, The Point. We're in Orlando with The Point, and we're reviewing some sours, and before we get too far into the video, thank you for clicking on it, and please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel, and I'm joined by a very special guest here, Keith Edgett. You guys up best. You guys probably all know him from TikTok. He's Insta famous. He made a horror movie. This does this man does it all. Um, go check him out. I'll leave a link in the description and um, you'll see him. It, most of you guys, if you're watching this, will probably come from him anyway. So <laughs> you'll, you'll already know him. I'll be the one new one. But anyways, what we're doing today, we're going to be doing some sours. Like I said before, we have the Wild by the Syria Nevada. It's a slightly sour ale. And then we have the Pomegranate Grapefruit Sour by Collective Arts Brewing. And it's going to be fun. We'll be trying them out and usual stuff. And Keith will be throwing in his excellent commentary that he's known for and, and overall and joyful personality. So let's get into it. Oh, wherever the hell it is. There it is. <laughs> 20 fires. I don't even know if that's good, but it sounds oh, impressive. It is fire. Oh, heck yeah. All right, there you go. Let's do it. So the first one we're going to do today is the Wild Little Thing. It's a slightly sour by Sierra Nevada. It is 5.5%, so 0.5% over the really the national average and stuff like that. I love the can on it, super exciting. You can get these pretty much anywhere too, which is really cool about them. And they're, and again, cool can. I, I always think something that grabs me off the shelf is always exciting. But we'll open it up and see what it looks like. And the ASMR can opening. This will be nice. I've never had it this close to the camera before. Ooh, it sounded crisp. What? It was crisp. sounded crisp. Holy crap, this thing's pink. All is right. it really? Very pink. That's oh, yeah, look at there. Oh, very, you can definitely, it almost looks like some grapefruit in it and stuff like that, but super pink, looks exciting. I'll show the live, just say, live feed. This is for you guys. Very pink. <laughs> All right. I've never multitasked before. This is exciting for me, but we'll give it the old smell test, see what it really smells like. Hey, what's up, Lauren? How's it going? I saw Ooh. you tagged me in a post about your crushes, so thank you oh, for the love. Oh, it smells, <laughs> smells really good. It's yeah, really it's fruity and... I don't know, definitely a, a grapefruit scent too. Would you like to smell it, Keith? That's heavy grapefruit. Very heavy Very grapefruit. Very IPA like. Mm -hmm. But it should be good. Mm. So without further ado, we'll give it a try. Think he's up, guys. Cheers. Mm. That actually smells really good. Very tart. Very tart. Very, very, very tart. Very tart. Very tart. Very tart. What's up, Hey from South Carolina? How we doing? What's Woo. up, Alex? Overall though, um, it is pretty good. It's It does go down pretty smooth. It's just an initial little bite at the end, or in the beginning. But after that, it's not that bad, I should that's say. Really, that's really not that bad. That would be easy to, if you were on the IPAs and you wanted to start drinking mm -hmm. IPAs, this mm -hmm. is definitely the one to go for. Yeah. It's, it's a, called Wild Thing IPA. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a sour, sour oh, ale. Oh, it's a sour ale, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, guava and hibiscus and strawberry. There we go. That's yeah. the, the guava and the strawberry it has that like, grapefruit. That's what it's doing. Hello from Germany. Oh, that's cool. You guys got some Germany, excellent beer the over there. The Deutschland. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to give this beer a... Also, I've been here of Deutsch TikTok. Dankeschön. Holy smokes. He that knows German. Who knew? <laughs> I just know phrases. Oh, okay. Oh, that phrases. works. That's all I knew was. That was, a, <laughs> that was so apparently I've been being viewed on. It's, uh, so apparently I've been on uh, Dutch or German TikTok. Oh, that's so. cool. Well, it's popular all over the place. But I'm hey, gonna, what's up, Pri? I'm going to give this beer a. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It is a little. It was a little tart for me in the beginning, but that's just my flavor palette. Um, but overall, good beer. Really smooth. You can really easily drink it and stuff. And I don't know. I like it. Honestly, it reminds me of like a. It really reminds me of a wine. Kind of. It reminds me. Or no, not a wine. Champagne. Yeah, it is. It's bubbly. Yeah, yeah. It's bubbly. It's, not, yeah, it's, not it's definitely it's nice. A, and, it's, a, it's a champagne taste. It's definitely nice and carbonated, which is good. So reminds me of um, ooh, black and black and red bottle. Uh, 
Woodbridge, right? No. I'd have to figure it out. It's like a $13 bottle, but it's fan fucking classic. I always buy the cheap ones. That's the only ones I get. So, dude, cheap wine is the best. So Keith, what would you rate it out of ten? Um, I would rate it a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Seven. That's a good rating. 10. So I think I what did I give it a seven or an eight? You gave it an eight. So seven point five. Not bad. Not bad. Good beer. So we'll jump into the next one and well, the last one I should say. We're only doing two. Easy video. What's up, Dennis? <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> the open. crisp. The <laughs> open. All right. So the next one we're doing is the pomegranate grapefruit sour from Collective Arts Brewing. This is actually a really cool company. They do different art on each can uh, or each different style of can. It's five point six percent. So. 1% more. I'll show it over to you guys. Oh, we got a disco ball. I don't know if that blocks it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, my God. All right. His recording is on that. So now, you guys, if you want to see his reaction, you have to go and watch his video on YouTube. <laughs> To be able to see I've that. I never got it that close before. <laughs> I never got it that close to ask I guess so. So, uh, overall, stupid. very cool can. We'll do the ASMR, <laughs> crack it open. I'll try to do this in the middle, so everybody. That's fine. You know it's there. All right. Three, two, one. Not as crisp. Not as crisp. Mm -hmm. But definitely foamy. Definitely foamy. Yep. It's definitely got some good foam. foam to it. So, we'll see the color. I'll try to figure out a way. There we go. That's in both. Oh, Jackson, it's a little bit. So, <laughs> definitely nice color to it. Um, almost looks peachy, but it, I know it's pomegranate and grapefruit, so that'll be interesting. Oh, Guinness Blonde is real good. Guinness Blonde is Guinness good. Blonde's real good. So, we'll give it the old smell test. Thanks, Bob. See what, it's, see what it smells like. Definitely fruity. There's definitely I definitely feel like I'm gonna like the, the strawberry better. I think so too. I, think so too. I, I feel like this one, this one smells like armpits. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. It's definitely malty. There's definitely some hops to it. The only thing that's popping is any animals that come close to this. Yeah, so. Popping away. Oh boy. Without, without further ado, we'll give it a try. <laughs> Watch it taste like it, 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 amazing. <laughs> no, uh, I'm not a grapefruit look. person. No, I am a sour person, which is interesting. Strawberry, yeah, right. But it's it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let you give it a try. It's, it's, I yeah, that smells like some. It, it, it tastes better than it smells. I'll, I'll give it that. It tastes better than it smells. You could do it. I believe in you, Pete. Definitely tastes way better than it smells. It's still, it's still, Again, it's okay though. It's okay. Yeah. Definitely like a grapefruit taste. That bubbly, yeah, you know, very bubbly. I'll, uh, it's, it's the cans, it's the IPAs. You're supposed to pour them out halfway and then let them bubble the other half, you know. Armpits, really. <laughs> there's and like, smell, a, and like an there's animal that hasn't been washed. Yeah, there's smell of vision. I'll let you guys <laughs> smell it. Smell of vision if there was smell of vision. This is, this is the one to go for. Yeah, I definitely say so. Let's so, pour out some of those bubbles. So, um, I'm gonna give this guy, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. I'm gonna give it six smelly armpits out of 10. Six smelly, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I'm sorry, man. That's mm -hmm. a five out of 10. Five out, that's, that's fine, a five, that's, that's fine. fine. That's I, a, I chose it, and I, the only reason I'm giving it a five is because it's it came through on the taste. It did. It, did, it, it, fell, it fell down to five points when I opened it. It was it better on the taste, game. but. Yep. Again, if you know if they sponsored me, I'd say nothing but nice things about it. But we tell the truth here on Sorry Sam. Yes, beer yes, review. Only the do. truth and nothing but the truth. Um, so we'll get into the final. Well, you know what? We'll, I'll just conclude it into this one. So, but definitely the. Let me drink this. Yeah, that'll be. I'll borrow that for a second. Okay. This one's definitely better. I'm not even going to do the best to worst, but. Thank you guys for clicking on the video and please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And again, if I get to 100 subscribers, which I'm very close, I only need 22 more. And that goes for you guys too. 22 more, it really helps. I'm gonna chug two DOS boots. I can, Keith witnessed it yesterday. I can I can chug like the best of them. And, uh, who was I calling out the last time? Um, Badlands Chugs, if, I'm after if, you. If, if you wanna do if you wanna do some chugs, I got you some chugs. Oh, you want to do some chugs? I, mean, oh, I, can't, I can't do that right now. Oh, we got, we got to hold off. We can chug. We can chug some water. I mean, <laughs> chug some water. We got, we got some Capri Sun up in the fridge up top, but this one's definitely. Yeah. This is definitely the best one. I'll chug it for my video here. I'll get it in both. I'll leave it. I'll leave it right. There's still a little bit in here if you wanted to drink some. Um, 
But cheers, guys. Cheers to the live stream. Cheers to the YouTube. Wild little thing. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, Wild Little Thing by Sierra Nevada. Excellent, excellent beer. If you're looking for an IPA that has a little extra hop, mm -hmm. this, one sour, does, yeah. this one does have a little bit of a good sour taste. It's not a strong sour like the grapefruit one is. Uh, this one's actually a lighter. It's got a sweeter taste from the strawberry, which I really do like. Um, from what I can see on this, I mean, it's Sierra Nevada. They already have a really good pale ale that I like. They also, really good pale ale. They've got uh, the um, Sierra Nevada, the, what's the green one? Pacific something? Oh, uh, hop, hop Gun. I think it they, is. they have Hop Gun, but they have another one. It's in the blue and... Uh, three, group one, Pinky's Up. Thank you again. Pinky's Up. There it is for the chug, you guys. What's the name of his YouTube channel? It is Sorry Sam Beer Reviews. Yep. And there's the link. There's the first one I ever did, I think, the ones that comes up. But otherwise, look for a little paw print. Paw print. I don't know how to make a paw print. I'm just doing <laughs> weird science at this point. Okay, but do my hair. Thank you. Get to my hair. All right, thank you, guys. Cheers.